Hey Mike, it's nice to see you. Um, I thought what I'd do, Mike, is start with a few, just a few questions. Talk a little bit about your own personal journey here at Monsanto. Well, I started at Monsanto 24 years ago, and I'm a chemist by training, so I came here and I did science. I worked in a lab, and uh, Monsanto was a much different company when I, when I joined. We had a chemical business, and we had the ag business, we had a drug business, and so I started out uh, in technology and spent the first 15 um, years doing science and managing science. Uh, within Monsanto and then had an opportunity uh, in around 2005 to uh, take on a commercial opportunity uh, and uh, that's when I first moved into the commercial side of the business and uh, and had uh, some really neat experiences there and I've always been able to leverage my science background as I've uh, progressed through the commercial um, the, the, com the commercial side of the business and so now I'm uh, I uh, lead our Americas uh, road crop business for Monsanto. So it's and the U.S. Brazil U.S. U.S. Brazil, Brazil from Canada to Argentina. To Argentina, great. North, Central, and South America. And talk a little bit, Mike, um, about sort of the broader Monsanto vision. Really, what we need to do is figure out how we can go ahead and uh, sustainably intensify agriculture. So, how can we figure out how to get more off of the same or an ever shrinking footprint of land, and then. You know, when you do that in the backdrop of climate change and some of the um, uh, global macroscopic ma macro trends, you know, and 20 years from now, the world's going to be uh, hungrier and thirstier. And we're going to have to use technology to figure out how we can go ahead and, 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 and meet some of these needs. So, you know, feed, feed the world, feed the world. So, you know, Monsanto is focused on that. Uh, we, we believe in, you know, it's not, we're not the only solution. Mm -hmm. We're going to be a part of the solution, uh, but we think we can be a significant part of that. I'd love to get, have you just talk a little bit about uh, how, how you guys have defined and thought about transformational growth. In business, we're all looking for growth, but when I think about transformational growth, it's not simply just you know, increasing and maybe a greater slope, the top and the bottom line, but it's also shifting the way you're doing business. I mean, changing both internally with your people and as well as externally with your customers. And we've had the opportunity as, we've, as we think about biotechnology and how that's fundamentally changed agriculture. You know, I like to go to, my, to the customers first and get a sense of, you know, do they recognize it? Do you know you're on, in something, doing something transformational because your customers will recognize it and they'll tell you. So you know, there's, a, there's a customer piece of it that's transformational. Yep. Um, and then the flip side of it is just is internally. You know. Uh, you, you know you're on a transformational growth curve when there's um, when there's a, I see when there's a little uneasiness within your people. Your say, people. Say more about that. You're changing the way they're doing their work. You're changing the way they're thinking about products. You're changing the way and the innovation cycle around product development. And so unless there's a little bit of unease, unless there's a little bit of uh, of uh, concern, I would say, within the organization, you're probably not on a transformational growth path. You might be growing, but you might not be really um, pushing the envelope. What would you say are some of the bigger internal barriers to, to growth in a, on this transformational journey? Uh, speed. Speed. No doubt about it. It's, um, we will be operating at a different cadence than we have in the past, and that's great. What other ways do you measure success on how you're doing on this growth path? We're going to be measured by our financial results and, and how we're, as you mentioned, as, as we're delivering to our stakeholders. Um, but I do think there's other dimensions. And part of what we spend a lot of time looking at internally is the, are the, is the engagement of our employees. And we measure engagement uh, relentlessly. We focus on it because we believe that, and studies are out there show, but we firmly believe in and concede in our business. An engaged workforce is going to drive business results. And again, in the context of transformational growth and how you change your business, you know, um, you need engagement. You need people who are open-minded. They're, you know, they're on task. They understand the strategy, and they believe in where you're going. And if you have that, if you have that, um, you're going to go ahead and be successful. You have a much higher probability of being successful. Um, than if your workforce is disengaged from where you're going. Are there moments that, that really strike you as being, we've got it? 
I always like to go to the customer because at the end of the day, we can talk about transformational growth, but it really means we're doing something transformational for them. So, you know, when you go to, when you go to our customers and talk to them about what biotechnology and agricultural biotechnology have done for them, it's not simply just improve their bottom line. It's changed their lives completely. It's changed the way they actually do agriculture and, and in turn has fundamentally changed their business. Talk a little bit more about the next five years. Yeah. You know, we are, um, if you think about, and I, would, and I would actually go beyond five years. I would okay. take a 10-year time frame. Between how we think about our base business and the growth there, uh, the precision agricultural space and decision-making tool space with climate, and leveraging our experience and our capabilities around genetics, sequencing, and our agricultural footprint and testing into the, to, to bring on new mic, uh, microbial products to fight disease, insect, insects, um, uh, a whole um, fertility um, enhancement, a whole bunch of different um, challenges that are happening right now in agriculture. So those are, those are a couple of our, our, of our growth platforms and how we're thinking about it going forward. That's great. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks for your time. Andy, great seeing you. Thank you.